Page seven o'clock. We're going to call the regular council meeting of the town checkbook of McNabb Bridge site to order. We'll talk a little bit in case that all the council is present. We need a mover and a seconder for the agenda and the adoption of the agenda with one alteration or one addition. And that would be under. Uh, Unfinished business 10.1 uh, trade bank report by Councillor Lynn. We have any problems with the addition? Okay, we will check it for the agenda as Deputy Mayor Cranston, Councillor Lynn. In favor? It's carried. Thank you. Uh, we're on to uh, validations and presentations, and this is, uh, I think I've said several times, one of, one of the more tribal uh, parts of my job. And I have four of our township staff who have achieved a higher uh, education for working for the township of Canada Bayside. And we have plaques to be presented to them. And I'll read them off first, and then we will uh, go and present them and take some photographs. For uh, first of all, I want to congratulate uh, Deputy Clark Angela Brown, who achieved a civil marriage as a solemn institution uh, certificate. Uh, <laughs> Kevin Murray. Uh, Certified Road Supervisor. Good job. Uh, Lindsay Lee, our CAO, uh, is an Employment Law and Human Resources for Municipalities Certificate. Uh, complete a Certificate for Municipal Accounting and Finance Program. And a third one for Diploma in Municipal Administration of the Ministry. And Last but certainly not least, uh, Mandy Cannon, our executive assistant, who completed the program of municipal accounting and finance, also receiving a diploma in municipal administration. So, to the staff, thank you so much for the ongoing efforts to improve the service for the residents of the Bayside. And we will now uh, presentations up. Yeah, we'll start with oh, uh, 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 people will uh, come first. You can grab them, we know where it's coming from.
Uh -huh. With horns. Uh -huh. Absolutely. Uh -huh. Various council members. And this is Saturday, 6.1, July 27th, Councilor Burn, Councilor Jacob. Any questions, comments, concerns about the minutes? All in favor as presented. Carried. Thank you. Member and Secretary of August 3rd, right here, council meeting minutes. Uh, Deputy Mayor Armstrong, Councilor Burn. Any concerns, questions? Okay, the minutes are presented. Eric, thank you. On to uh, reports of three, 7.1, uh, an RFP in public works. There's single axle well truck, mover and second place. Councilor Ryan, Councilor Jacob. Kevin, do you like to say anything about the uh, truck? So we did receive three tenders back from companies. Uh, we're trying to replace 2007 at Sterling, two plus two by truck. Um, it's a good truck. It's very short as age, uh, sophomore, you can get saved in the county. So a few of the issues it does have um, AC, headlights, heater, the blower, the work. Um, one of the little things to add up to the one money is just when you draw the line, right? So we keep for a long time, costing for one money. We did get the tenders back, we we're satisfied with that. Um, we're told September, if we were to order now, September 2022. If we waited a little longer, we're getting right now before September, we also waited. If we waited longer, we went up in for 18 months to 24 months. Safety and longer. Okay. The, uh, the, the old one was in 2007. So it's 14 years. I think that's, uh, I think we've got, got our use out of that uh, particular vehicle and time to, to be replaced. Any questions or comments? Uh, just a comment that getting September 2022 at least get it to us and all the little adaptations that will need to be made in order for it to be ready for winter. So I hope the timing is good. Thank you. <clears throat> okay. I agree, Mr. Mayor, to the Treasurer. So just to confirm, we reported this year that uh, $28,638 will be required for taxation. And uh, this year, 2022. So that would be 0.8% levy increase for that year, depending on what's going to happen then. Ms. Carpenters? I don't have the exact impact on the money, um, but using the standards of, I guess, the standard or smaller impact procedures that we've used in the past to these types of expenditures. Financing is split between reserves and taxation. 
um, unusual for this particular vehicle that it does schedule for replacement in 2022. Um, so I know we're kind of jumping ahead by getting the tenders of what have you, but it's crucial to use the delivery date of 2022 because it's related until so council deliberated and, and uh, you know, had the discussions later in December of this year. We would be getting the vehicle until 2023. So, any other questions on 7.1? All in favor of the recommendation? Eric, we keep 7.2 2022 budget timeline update. We were talking to this. Councilor Brooks and Mr. David. Ms. Kirkland. So, after I brought the report, Last council meeting, it was brought to my attention that there was a conflict on the proposed city for day one that presented the budget to council. Initially, it was on Tuesday, which is a regular scheduled planning meeting. So, I'm asking council permission to push back day one to Monday, November 8th, which means we have budget presentation day one on Monday, Tuesday, planning meeting, and Wednesday would be day two of budget presentation. The rest of the schedule were being unchanged, but it was just that that one change in the date of presenting. Questions? Is there a way uh, you know the time yet? I, I haven't set the time, but I think this is the usual we've done in the past, uh, which I think is typically over five to six o'clock start. Okay. So can I ask that uh, Set the times and then set out the the dates and you can we put them right in your phones? Well, it sends my email. You have to accept it to go into your phone. Okay. Okay. Favor accepting the date change. Very thank you. Seven point three transportation asset management plan. Move on second. Councilor Hunt, Councilor Jacob. Um. So this is just kind of a continuation of what Council was presented with last uh, week, and our consultant made that delegation uh, presented the asset growth asset management plan. Um, under the original regulations, municipalities were required to have council pass these plans uh, before it was proposed to start by July 1st, 2021. Due to COVID, uh, that deadline system was back. Um, but through the work that we were doing through our SCM and up uh, program and funding, we were able to almost complete. This transportation asset management plan, be that a requirement that was just a little bit of additional funds required that were to be used from the 2021 capital budget. Uh, so, before you hear it, is basically the report that was presented last week and that's seeking council's uh, authorization to adopt that plan and uh, submit it separately. Thank you. Questions, comments? I was really, really impressed by the uh, transportation asset management plan. I thought it was extremely well written and concise, and I particularly liked the uh, recommendations outlined from uh, short to medium term to long term. I thought that was a really good guidepost for staff and uh, a really, really good job. Anything else? Thank you for the recommendation. Sure. Thank you. 7.4, uh, consolidated financial statement. Secretary, please. Thank you very much, and Councilor Bill. Ms. Cousin. So, for attached to the report, uh, seeking and executing Council's uh, permission to adopt all of the 2020 consolidated financial statements for the township, as well as the uh, 
tertiary and particular reserve cycles, which are attacked at the end. We feel like the business associates were unable to attend this evening's meeting, but if council do have any questions that they require clarification on, I can try to get answers for you or ask for uh, the others to be present at the meeting. There were a number of technical words that are done annually, whether it's our traditional reserve or transfers to reserves or uh, all of our, our assets. Uh, there were a number of uh, additions made because of their surpluses. And then, of course, reductions, uh, whether it's for approved capital transactions for the 2020 calendar year or the calendar year of 2020. The general surplus for the township was 3.4 million, which is due in large part um, because of the overall surplus from operations and as well as a change in uh, RTC's worth of year. All in favor of the recommendation? So in uh, July, some local activity was uh, on the property tax side, as you know, the township did process the final tax bills for the year. We have an upcoming uh, installment. August 31st, the second installment of the 29th is around the corner. Um, we received our third quarter of month funding in the month, as well as receiving a partial payment for two summer students that we were uh, received successful grant funding for through the Canada Summer Doctoral Grant. And again, our local launch user fees uh, continue to. Uh, the uh, records uh, receivable. We're now at twenty-six thousand dollars of revenue uh, of a three thousand dollar budget. I'm not sure that's going to continue for the balance of the year, but we've been selling a tremendous number of old watch fees. And then on the expenditure side, as you see, there's a number of expenditures, uh, local expenditures of outline there. We will work with uh, Thousand has been spent on capital projects, and that will look forward to getting two thousand on the operating expenses for that. Okay. Is that uh, part of the uh, fees we covered for the boat launch? It was we use that money to improve the condition of the boat launches. Is that correct? The the fees that we collect help to offset recreation. Operations as a whole. There are many allocated on the expense side of the budget to uh, the improvements of the various boat launches that we have. So there are many in the budget for that. The, the revenue collected helps offset the operations. Thank you. Questions, comments? Any further recommendation? Thank you. 7.6 so it's been a while since I'm sure uh, this has come back to council, but you will recall that back in 2019, the town directed for an uh, agreement with SDM uh, for Net Zero Energy Consumption Project, which was the construction of this building. And as part of that program, it was kind of a two part funding. Uh, there was the relevant up to $2.4 million for the loan, as well as potentially $364,000 in grant. In order to get $364,000 grant, we did have to, we will be required to uh, secure a loan for the full amount of $2.4 million. <coughs> and there are adequate expenses. We have a little over 4.3 million that needs to be financed for this building. So the balance of the, the funding will come through the infrastructure material. 
not eventually finalize them later age. So I'm just basically um, seeking council's authorization to commence those proceedings with FCM. And uh, if we eventually finalize for the 2.4 million, once that's finalized, um, FCM will then release 50% of the grant. And then, as a condition on receiving the balance, the township will need to complete a, uh, an environmental results project, basically summarize the overall success or uh, issues that come that we have with the building. Um, I honestly, I was a little concerned because we haven't necessarily realized some of the savings on the energy side of things, uh, heating in particular, that were anticipated. So I was a bit concerned if SDM was going to go back on the grant because of that. And we assured you that we would still be eligible. They just want the results to see you know, what we, we learn from whatever, and it gives an opportunity for other municipalities to possibly learn from uh, you know, issues that we come across or measures that we took to mitigate things. So. Well, yes, uh, to the treasurer, please move on. We are packed. So, under the national implications, it says the balance will be released once the township completes its environmental result report. And the report is due one year from the date of occupancy. So, we're way past that date. So, there's no penalty from FCM for being late for the report. We can't tell because they. We discussed that I've had basically for the last year and a half and I've had many conversations going back and forth, um, even just wondering if I'm not even sure if we would be eligible like Rock or Florida the grant because if I will recall one of the other conditions um, that was part of the grant was that we would sell solar panels. That has since um, Reverse and will not be proceeding with that. So we're not sure if we would be eligible for the loan and the grant because we weren't pursuing that. So we had many, many conversations. Um, again, they, they just need to hear it again to show they want to track us to track all of our operating expenses, all of the um, need to have the program we need to see versus you know what the projections were for the engineers did the original design. Um, as, a, as a group, we were a little surprised uh, that a couple of the 
Kevin Murray from our uh, staff who we will prepare the ground that we did for the last retreat. I don't know where the years ago when they're selling as a sign. So come up with a bunch of workshops in tandem and uh, make sure I go on the Michael Brent, and that's been confirmed. And, and so we thought we have a whole mix of things from uh, foraging to composting, how to plant uh, or how to create a planter or create a kind of box and you know put the roots out to people from the windshed to see if they're interested. So again, these this is just kind of ideas thrown together. Um, and uh, my committee and I will be working hard on this day. Now, what I wanted to know was about the COVID restrictions and things like that. So not quite sure and I'm looking for staff direction on that as well as um, health unit because what we want to do is um, prepare some, some uh, foods ahead of time and then in a workshop show how to, you know, cold cucumber soup or whatever, anything that from the garden that uh, we are growing right now. And of course, everybody knows that most of the produce is going to be on for food. Um, and there's a lot of people coming to Sundays collecting the produce. So um, I'm not sure we're going to need some barbecues and things like that, but you know, we'll get to the logistics later. But I'm looking for staff direction in terms of what we need to do and staff help in terms of reaching out to the right county health unit and what the requirements are there, as well as the COVID restrictions. And I'm hoping that, you know, council and some staff will volunteer. So if um, anyone is willing, please send me an email so that I can, and what you're interested in doing, I actually thought when it comes to the group, we probably love you know, uh, hanging up birdhouse. <laughs> so, anyway, that's that's a cold note version um, for September. Thank you very much. Let's the rest of the agenda. <laughs> well done. Uh, I will attend. I will attend. Okay. I should add that I, I, you know, I believe that uh, Mr. Murray from our staff has talked to the recreation manager and some of the things that um, are to be done for the community garden that, you know, weren't kind of be finished yet. I think most of them will be done by September 11th. So hopefully that uh, that will be staff to keep an eye on, on that and ensure that it's uh, in process. So. Uh, just extremely proud. I'm accomplished here. So happy to see this uh, come to uh, realization. Yeah. Good job. Mm -hmm. Thanks. I'm sure if we find an opportunity, the deer will be very <laughs> thankful. <laughs> And the resident bear. <laughs> and the resident bear. <laughs> Anything else, sir? I'll um, be receiving this information. Carrie, thank you. Uh, on to uh, 11.1, municipal office hours, Christmas 2021, we're seconded. Councilor Brill, Councilor Knight. Questions or comments? Here, thank you. 1.2 Recommendation there. The council approved the proposal from the Cornerstone Management Solutions Limited at the amount of approximately $2,974.75 to $4,725 plus HST for the design and updating of the current performance management program, which will be tailored to all employees and aligned to the township 
for conferences. And further that this money be taken from the modernization back that question. That's the question for you, the CA will clerk. Uh, just to confirm that it says all employees that includes the CA will clerk Yes, it does. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I just think this is an excellent idea. Um, having a performance management plan is going to be very valuable and necessary uh, piece of the toolkit for Lindsay and her uh, directors and staff to understand what's expected of them and, and how they are going to evaluate and for, for the staff themselves they will understand that if there's a misunderstanding of why the rating they received was what it was and this this plan alleviate any potential concerns. I think it's very valuable, very valuable to you. Any other questions? In favor of the recommendation? Carried. Thank you. To uh, the bylaws 13.1, bylaw 102151, to the bylaw 1990, Burns Town Road. Moved by the Council of Burns, second by the Deputy Mayor Questions and comments? Meeting group. All in favor of the bylaw? It's carried, thank you. 13.2 bylaw 2152, the use of the township vehicles policy. Motion nine, second with Council of Borough. Questions and comments? Is this, is this a completely new policy today, or is this an update that we had before? Uh, this is the new one. Uh, we're going to have adding more vehicles to the Okay. Thank you. Any other questions or comments? All in favor of the bylaw? Okay. Thank you. Okay. Well, they said they said they couldn't hear us well enough. So they said, sorry. Sorry, everyone, Gordon, I cannot understand a word you're saying. So we're leaving the meeting. We appreciate your consideration for the zoning change at 90 Burnstown Road and hope that. Hope we have your support. Thanks very much to Angela for all our help. Oh. What was there? Was, was the problem with hearing or hiring? Or, or yeah, because the ceiling's too tall, the room's too big, and we have windows. <laughs> yeah. Even with the microphones, it's the. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Turned up and what? Can I get turned up and nope. no, it's this. Uh, only matter of us is to doubt we can speak louder. Yeah, and the most true. True, there's no goals made. Wait for the next uh, council meeting and we'll move a second to confirm for the final. Councilor Brown, Councilor Jacob, all in favor. Gary, thank you very much, folks. So, Scott, Scott, hold on. So, 